Hi, I'm Emily Porter, tracker of plants, and we're standing in a field a couple hundred yards from my apartment gathering wild carrots, also known as Queen Anne's lace. This is the plant here in flower. Um, it's in the parsley family or carrot family, Apiaceae, as they call it in Latin. Um, I can identify this plant for a lot of reasons. For one thing, this white flower called an umbel has a little black dot in the center that's really distinctive of this family. You can also identify it from the stems, which are hairy, which I like to think of as hairy legs. Like if you think of a woman, Queen Anne let's say, who hasn't shaved in a couple days, that's what these feel like, stubble. And poisonous look-alikes such as wild hemlock, poison hemlock, the number one look-alike plant that people are scared of eating, is entirely smooth. It has no stubble. Also, the flowers, when they begin to die, curl up into these little nest-like structures. There's a fairly green nest here. Um, they get browner. This is a browner one. Up here, it gets progressively browner and more curled up. At the bottom of the flower and the nest, there's these bracts. And they end in a three pronged tip. Like a bird's foot or a trident on the end of the bract. There's about five tips all together it looks like. Um, so we're gonna dig these wild carrots for food because they're the same thing as a domestic carrot. They're just wild. They're the same species Daucus corota. And we are going to dig this one, which is a first year version of the same plant as this one with flowers on it. It's got no stem coming out of the middle. And we're going to dig that one because it's going to be a nice tender root compared to the one with flowers on it which is going to be hard and woody because what happens when the plant grows up is it has to support that stem against the wind and the elements so it has to get tough and woody so it doesn't just fall over <laughs> so, we're going to dig this nice tender version of this plant that is coming out of the bank rather than the ones that are in the field up there are going to be small because the soil is more compact. This one, since the soil is loose and eroding, is going to give us a bigger carrot. Um, we're breaking all the rules because we're digging beside railroad tracks and railroad tracks are frequently sprayed with pesticides, I mean herbicides, to keep the plants from growing over the tracks. But um, I don't think it's been sprayed anytime recently, and I don't really care about that kind of stuff. So, I'm gonna dig out this carrot. It broke off a little bit, but it's actually
actually similar to a conventional carrot in size, which is amazing. So I'll show you some of the carrots we dug out of a more compact soil earlier are about this big.